Now, you might say, well, suppose I'm not in first position or, you know, what other positions can we play scales in? And so I'm actually going to play you a G chromatic scale again, and then this one I'm going to do in third position. Um, the way a guitar is laid out, the way the notes are laid out on the uh, fretboard, it allows you to be able to play the same things in different positions. So now I'm going to play a G chromatic scale, and I'm going to do it in third position. And in order to do that, I'm going to have to stretch and slide. This might be a little harder, so try this after you feel really comfortable playing the G chromatic scale in first position. So this one, in third position, is going to have momentary stretches and then slides on the ascending, ascending portion. Um, and then it's going to have momentary stretches and slides on the descending portion. The ascending portion, we're going to do slides with our first finger, stretches and slides with our first finger. On the descending, we're going to do stretches and slides with our fourth finger, or pinky. Now, for now, I'm just going to demonstrate this, and, and then we're going to switch our metronome back on and play it at a faster tempo. So some of the same notes that occurred in our first position are going to also be here in our third position. So here we start off with a G, G sharp, A. We have an A sharp here. Now we're going to, to get a B, we're going to stretch, and then we slide. To get the C, C sharp, D, D sharp. Stretch to E, slide to F, F sharp, G, G sharp. Stretch to A, slide to A sharp. B, C, C sharp, D, we don't need to slide and stretch for that, D sharp, E, F, stretch to F sharp, slide to G, and that G is two octaves higher than the G on which we started. Now we're going to do the descending portion of the scale. We start with G, we're going to stretch to G flat. Slide to F, E, E flat, D, D flat, we don't need to stretch for that, C, B, B flat, stretch to A, slide to A flat, G, G flat, F, stretch to E, slide to E flat, D, D flat, C, stretch to B, slide to B flat, A, A flat, and we're back at G, which again is two octaves lower than the G on which we started. So now I'm going to play a G chromatic again in third position using alternate picking. So now you can practice along with me. I'm going to switch my metronome on to 60, really nice slow speed. Again, start off really slowly and smoothly and try and sustain the notes for as long as possible. We're going for a real legato sound, smooth and connected. You know. And slowly build up in incrementally. Like each day you practice, you warm up with this in the morning. Each day you practice, you're going to find that you're going to be able to inch the metronome up just a little bit each day until you're playing it at a...
great as a warm-up exercise, and um, it'll help you with your facility. Pay special attention to your left hand. Try and make sure there's no tension that happens, and uh, practice your alternate picking. Now, that fingering that I played that didn't have any open strings, that's what we call a movable fingering. And that simply means that that same shape or that same pattern is something that we can move to a different place on the guitar. For example, if I were to take that same shape that we played for the G chromatic, where we had stretches and slides like that, and I were to move it up here to where this starting note is now an A. This is an A on the fifth fret of the sixth string. And now I'm going to play an A chromatic scale starting on the sixth string, fifth fret, and I'm going to take it all the way two octaves higher. I'm going to end on the first string on the same fret. So here we go. This is an A. I'm going to play it slowly at first so you can play along. So we start off with A. I'm going to use alternate picking. A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, now descending, A, A flat, G, G flat, F, E, E flat, D, D flat, C, B, B flat, A, A flat, G, G flat, F, E, E flat, D, D flat, C, B, B flat, and now we're back at A, which is two octaves lower than the A on which we started on the sixth string. So I'm going to play it again this time now with a metronome. And you can play along. One, two, three, four. So that was an A chromatic scale, and that one was played in fifth position. Um, that demonstrates how you can easily move shapes, fingerings, and patterns to different places and achieve the same results musically. We did a G chromatic. <laughs> And then we did a, an A chromatic using the same fingering. Be sure to practice these with a metronome and try and warm up every day using this scale.